My name is Barry Grogan, I'm a fifth grade teacher here at QA Sidra. And today we're very excited we get to undertake a virtual exchange with our partner school in New York City in Brooklyn. Hi. Yeah, hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. We just came back off our holidays, so we're all really well rested. We've been very blessed to have a huge support team from QFI come in and help us out with establishing contact, using um, the setup of an online platform which has allowed the students to send messages backwards and forwards, they can view work with each other. As you can see, the pool is starting to grow here. Oh, that's cool. What are those? Um, I'm pretty sure this is bok choy. Yeah. It, do you want to know what like, this yeah. is? Yeah, what is that one? This is lettuce. And yeah. You will never lose your sense of wonder when you see of something that you planted grow. This one is for like three of them together and it's kind of like exploded the whole thing. We're using these um, tower gardens and we're expanding our reach uh, throughout the world, one child at a time. This whole idea was new to them. You know, the idea of having a tower garden in our class, they were like, oh, really? And they couldn't really imagine how it looks like, how the plants would be really growing until they did see it. What is that? The first time when we got online and we spoke face to face and the kids were really engaged, they were very happy and excited to see the other tower garden sitting in the classroom over in New York and they were pretty wowed with the progress and the results of the program over there and they were they were curious to know more. There's always a specific way to grow each seed. So an apple tree doesn't, you don't put a seed. They got this kind of like engagement and they felt, yes, they are, you know, far away from them, but they have the same interests that we have. Do you have any questions for us? The purpose is to try and make connections between how food is a universal language that is enjoyed in cultures across the world and how we can find, through food, ways to understand building a future that is sustainable for us all. I'm pretty sure it's growing more because of the new routine we did, 12 hours off, 12 hours on. It was the vision of the executive director of QFI to have these virtual exchanges between the children here with children in Doha so that they interact because children are children regardless of where they're at and growing is like a common denominator. When you see you know, these connections and, and you're actually making a difference in people's lives, that is actually what you know, gets me going and it's very exciting actually to be able to you know, work with you know, students, teachers and, and bring people together and then actually showing people that we're more similar than we are, than you'd think we are you know, different. So, it's very interesting to see that, and, and that to me is, is, you know, just seeing that impact is, is very rewarding, and, and that's why I love doing what I do, so. Often it's really delicious, but sometimes... We all walk around the world with our own ideas of how the world is and should be, and to be able to present somebody with a truth that's different to what they think really challenges them to, to empathize at a different level. Our partnership with PFI is more than just growing food. What we're doing is really growing hope, right? We're growing hope and, and fostering tolerance. We need to be using technology to allow us to connect on a grander scale outside of ourselves and to look for common connections and to, to start to build relationships so that we can collaborate to solve shared problems. What's your favorite food in Doha? I think success is when I see you know a student from Qatar and then a student from the US coming together and meeting for the first time but then, you know, going back to their own communities and kind of still having that link. It is really about getting people to understand that we share space on a planet and we all have to be good citizens. <laughs>